folks, it's me again. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. And today we are going to be doing part five in my Thanksgiving Christmas special. Now, a lot of you guys out there, you've been along for the ride with me. You'll know that we did that great moist turkey. We did that lovely thick rich gravy, them stunning potatoes, and those two fantastic side dishes. But today we are gonna concentrate on making a stuffing. More of a dressing than a stuffing because this one cooks in the oven and I do prefer to have my uh, stuffing cooked in the oven. I just like it, you know, stuffing the bird, weighing up the temperatures. I think do it this way, it's so easy. You can slam it in the bottom of the oven while the turkey's cooking and forget about it, no problems. So the ingredients I've got then, I know it looks a lot, but I've got 500 grams of a decent sausage meat. Now, I do make my own sausages and I made some the weekend, but we ate them. They were that good. I thought, shall I save some? But no, we ate them. Hey ho, I've got some lovely smoked streaky bacon. I'm going to use 100 grams of these fat pat chestnuts, which I used in the sprout recipe. Some lovely fresh cranberries. I've got 200 grams of diced onion, which we're going to sweat down in butter. Uh, some fresh sage, some juniper berries, and just off camera, I can get them, some nice fresh breadcrumbs, and then some seasoning. And the only difficult bit about this, which is not difficult, is we're just going to slowly sweat these onions down, and then we're going to get on and make this. Okay then, let's sweat these onion downs. Straight out the block then, more butter. You know, it is the holidays, live large, it's not going to hurt you. You just have to go to the gym in the new year. So all we're going to do then is we're going to let that melt down and we are going to add our onions. 200 grams I've got there to 500 grams of sausage meat. So I've just added a little bit of vegetable oil to that butter to stop it burning because obviously butter hasn't got a very high burn temperature. So just to stop it from burning and going bitter a little bit of oil nice gentle temperature in with our onions and we're just going to sweat these down which will release all the natural sugars so we don't really want any color on these so just gently let them tick over so while they're sweating away gently then we can just start building the base of this stuffing 500 grams of decent sausage meat 100 grams of fresh breadcrumbs going and then I am going to add 100 grams of fresh cranberries now unless you want to chase these all around the kitchen you could put them in a bag and give them a smash but I'm just going to nip them into the blender and give them a quick whiz on pulse because I want those nice little bits because the presentation of this is going to be fantastic it's based on a terrines that I used to make for butchers game terrines and when you slice through it it's gonna look yeah the mutts nuts so into there then my cranberries doesn't matter if they're all different sizes it's gonna look great when you cut the slice off and I suppose this is like your pigs in blankets and stuffing all rolled into one obviously with that bacon you'll see what I'm gonna do and the sausage meat elements there's my cranberries then, so I'm going to do the same with 100 grams of these lovely vac-packed chestnuts. So in with my blitzed chestnuts. Now, you haven't got to use chestnuts if you don't want to. You can use pistachio or walnut or don't use nuts at all if you don't want to. And the same with a cranberry, you can change that for apricots or whatever, you know. So all I'm doing then is giving that a nice mix-up until it all comes together and then once those onions have sweated and cooled we'll add those but next I'm going to add my aromats I'm going to use some juniper berries I used to make game terrines like I said and this is one of the major ingredients fantastic get a knife give that a bit of a chop don't need too many of these don't got to be too fussy a little nugget of juniper berry it's like a little bomb going off in your mouth if you catch one there you go in my bowl and this is based on a classic 
classic sage and onion stuffing so we're going to need plenty of sage nice big handful just gently go through it normally you wouldn't cut sage with a knife because it bruises but this is going in a stuffing so we want it nice and fine with a decent decent handful almost looks like I know what I'm doing get that in might add a bit more of that right while we're waiting for the onions to cool then we're going to get on with the presentation side so what you need to do is get yourself some streaky bacon lay it down with the back of your knife stretch it out and that's all you've got to do because we are going to line a loaf tin with this lovely bacon like I said it's based on a terrine and you'll see what I mean when we get the finished result at the end just gently smooth them all out now I don't think you want to watch me do all this because it's like watching paint dry so I should get on and do all these and I shall show you how to prepare your tin right that's all them little beauties smoothed out so what we're going to use it's just a normal loaf tin a little little spot of oil just grease that bad boy up use a brush if you want to excuse my hands and all we're going to do is we're going to lay our bacon in so it overlaps over the top try and get a seal on each one if you can take your time with this bit it's all about the presentation It'd be lovely and just gently work your way along so that's our tin line then I'm going to save those few pieces to seal the lid next to finish off is stuffing then in with our 200 grams of sweated onion give that a mix up and it starts to smell really good now I mean I'm almost tempted to make that into a patty fry it up and just eat it but you've got to think of the bigger picture you've got to think of other people I think so that's that mixed in next we're going to add a little bit of Christmas Thanksgiving loveliness just to get into the spirit then I'm going to drop a bit of port in you don't have to if you don't want to then again you might want to add something else brandy or some red wine just a little spot and crank in some pepper I'm just going to give it a little bit of salt then in with our hands again now it's time to transform this lovely lump of meat into something really special so into our loaf tin get it all in pat it down I used to stand and make tons of these terrines and I still don't tire of it I know it sounds silly it's quite therapeutic so get that in and all we're going to do those bits we had hanging over just pull them up fold them and quite cleverly those few bits of bacon I had left over the top look at that what a present to unwrap say it with bacon baby say it with bacon and then we're just going to cover that with foil now just tuck this little beauty up then some foil 
good feel on it. Now, if you haven't got a loaf tin, you know, a cake tin, or a terrine dish, or even just lay a piece of baking parchment and put your bacon and then your stuffing in the middle, wrap over your bacon and just roll it up, cover it in foil, will work exactly the same way. You know, you can just stick that in the bottom of your oven if you want it when the turkey's going. But the beauty of this is you could get that made a day before, like that. And when it comes to cooking, you can put it in the bottom of your turkey or while your turkey's resting, you're doing your potatoes and your sides, get it in the oven. But I'm just gonna cook this now on a low oven. Gas mark four, for about 45 minutes. Okay then, so waste not, want not. I am gonna use the last of my cranberries, about 200 grams. I have got 75 grams I'm using golden caster sugar. Use just a spot of water. It will knock us up our own cranberry sauce. So we just leave them on there until they start to break down. And it pretty much does it for you. It's so, so easy. So I shall bring the heat up until they start collapsing and we shall simmer for a few minutes. So cool watching these just simmering and gently exploding open. I've got to get out more. Now doesn't that look good? And I like the lumps in it. I am going to leave a few with the whole lumps in it so it's got a bit of texture. But obviously with these being cranberries they've got a lot of pectin and it will set thicker than that. So if you think your sauce is a little too thick to start with, a bit of water, it's that easy. Stir it in. Give that a couple more minutes on the simmer. Right, I'm happy with that. Pour it into this bowl. Oh yeah. Check the sweetness. Oh man alive. That is rock and roll. And it couldn't be easier. There's your cranberry sauce. Okay, it's time to check on this stuffing. Two ways you can tell if it's cooked. I'll show you the old method. Put a skewer or whatever you've got into the middle. So go to the bottom, pull it halfway. Leave it a moment. On your bottom lip, if it's not piping hot it's not done and I know that's not done so we'll take a temperature reading so down to the bottom about halfway so we've got a reading then of 63.9 I mean those old school methods it's unbelievable how they work so that's been in for 55 minutes that has now so I'm going to put that in for about another 15 minutes okay then time to check this stuff in now this has been in an hour and 20 minutes let's give it a check the old school way first so into the middle if it's nice and hot it is give it a proper temperature check so between 74 76 yeah that's great that's well cooked now so that's 80 so that's done right let's uncover this beautiful thing now for the moment of truth so what i've done then is i've taken the foil off I've put a tray on the top, flipped it over, and now we can uncover it. And there's our stuffing log or terrine, but we haven't finished there. What we're going to do now, in a hot grill, we're going to put that under, brown and crisp that bacon up. But if you've got a little bit more time, make this a couple of days in advance, and when you get it out of the oven in your, in your tray, Put a couple of tins of beans on, weight it down with a piece of cardboard so you put the weight on and let it cool and that will set lovely and then you can just rewarm it in the oven and it will be fantastic but if you haven't got the time to do that this is the way to do it. So all I'm going to do then in a hot grill till it crisps and then we'll cut a slice. So there's the finished product then, just finished under the grill and what a fantastic Oh man, I'm just going to cut into this, 
There's no easy way to do it. That's a big chunk. If you have a look, all that sausage meat, all that onion, and that bread. This is actually making my mouth water. Put it on that plate. Let's get rid of that for a moment. I suppose it would be rude not to try a bit of my cranberry sauce as well. God, I'm going to be stuck before Christmas gets here. Well, how's that looking, folks? My God, it's a meal in itself. Let's try a bit. Some of that bacon. Oh, man. That sausage meat. Get off. That. I'll tell you. Big slice of that with your turkey. On your Thanksgiving. Or your Christmas. And you'll be well made up. That is stunning. Do you know what? I sometimes wonder how to sum these videos up at the end. But I think that's all the proof you need. That really is a seriously good dish on its own. Do you know? Put that with the rest of the stuff we cooked. You're going to have a blinder. That is fantastic. And obviously you can let that cool. And you can eat that the following day. Is like a terrine. You know, there's so many things you can do with that. And it just remains for me to say, you know, thanks for following me on this five-parter. You know, I've had so much fun and I hope you've enjoyed watching what I've created. And hopefully some of you will have a go and do a few of these things. Definitely have a go at something like this. You know, I love Paxo stuffing in the boxes as much as the next man. But that takes it to a no level. So, just remains for me to say, you know, if you haven't already, subscribe like my video share them subscribe 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 until next time all the best